Yo right, guys, what's going on? Facebook here, and today I'm just going to bring you, bring you a kind of a, a short commentary on my opinion on the Xbox One, as this is kind of like a um, a big topic of everyone's like, should I buy it? Should I not? So I thought I'd do a little commentary and kind of explain what my opinions are, and maybe get a few of your opinions in the comments at, um, at the end. So um, firstly, the gameplay, as you can see, it wasn't from the start. Of this is actually um, a gameplay on the 360. This wasn't on the One because I don't yet have an El Ghetto to record for the One, so unfortunately that's a bit of a problem. So I'm on. I'm in the process of getting one, um, getting one for, to record with. So, oh yeah, and also the gameplay is cut half short because free for all and Ghost is not as fast as it was on Black Ops. So otherwise, instead of having a ten minute commentary of me just going on for ages and boring you lot, I don't want to don't want to do that. So I just cut into like a into a short section of the game. I did it a shot in the get in, at the end, but this was my first game on, and I literally just had about fifteen minutes to get a game before I, I went out and. Started, well not went out I went and started to record for my 10th episode of Trick Room with Linksy which is Black Ops and Ghost but anyway so anyway let's get on it opinion on Ghost no opinion on the Xbox One I'm already failing I've only just started anyway uh, yeah the connection is a massive perfect Xbox One the 360 oh Ghost on the 360 is disgusting it is lag 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 that's all you get and the Xbox, at least on the Xbox One it has dedicated servers um, it is just clean the gameplay is clean and it is a massive perk paying 450 pound for connection yeah i don't know but some people don't have the um the money to spend which is fair enough but if you do suffer from bad connection the xbox one will help you and with ghost a lot of shots hit are due to connection so maybe if you're really that into hitting shots and or you're struggling and you really badly want to get better then you know an xbox one may be the way to go uh, sec, the another problem, or no, a problem with the Xbox One is that there's not many people online. Like, it takes me a while. So if I get on, usually I'll tweet at for a six man because there's not actually that many people have got it. Maybe that's a price. Maybe people just don't want to go over, go over to it. I don't know. I'm not totally sure why people won't get it. But my, f nah, maybe my first guess, uh, my first guess, sorry, would be the price. Um, the problem with the Xbox One over the 360 is. The controller, the controller is not built for trick and I'm sorry, but it's not. It, the RB and the LB, are, you have to hit them at the edge of the controller, which is so awkward when you've spent, you know, so long on the 360 with the 360 controller, and you're trying to do like knife cancels or whatever you're trying to do, or, and you have to hit it at the end of ends of your like your right bumper, and it's just hard. It, it okay, maybe it'll take a while to get used to, but the controller is not kind of support supporting what like everyone wants to do. Feeding wise. The Xbox One, I would say, is perfect. The perfect connection. You don't have to use the bump as much. Uh, you know, at least there's none of that like 360 bullshit where you're kind of round the corner and you get killed and it's just, or you hit someone blatantly with a shot and it's not, it, you, I don't know, what you want to call it Jude or whatever. But yeah, uh, another problem. The games are also 50 quid or I don't know how much. I think it might be 80 dollars, 90 dollars for America. I'm not totally sure. The games are obviously more expensive because of the 1080p, the kind of the more high detail, high definition games, but there's not actually that many at the moment. Like you haven't got your kind of classical GTA uh, or your other Call of Duty. It's all the other kind of games that everyone likes to play. It's not on the one yet. So obviously, if people don't want to, you know, spend four hundred fifty pounds to play one, a few new games or whatever, it doesn't justify it. So that's also a, a bit of a con. Um, however, it's actually give a positive for the Xbox One. The uh, the speed of the console is amazing. Like you can just in and out of games. You can snap on unsnap. You can turn it on off. It is quick. It is really good fun and quick to use. But I don't know. Like I just I can't seem to find more pros about this with Xbox One over the 360 at the moment. I know I've said this a few times, but you're basically paying 450 quid to have faster connection, less people online, have a controller that doesn't suit what you want to do. If you want to use the Xbox One for different games, that's perfect. That's not a problem. That's fine. That's perfect. What well, it's perfect for you, but not for kind of what I want to do, for example, or what most of the people watching this video will want to do, is trick shot. If you're a feeder, I would, I would recommend saving up and buying one right away. But if you're a trick shot, I'm not too sure. At the moment, I would recommend in time when more people get it, but at the moment, it seems to be. I see. I keep seeming to find myself on the 360, and it just doesn't seem to, kind of stick. Um, yeah. That's, there's a, there's a few other like I can go on more about I don't want to kind of slag it off too much because it is good it is really quick like you can snap in and out and play games as fast as possible I just don't want to slag it off too much 
because the 360 is is a great console, but the Xbox One just the quality. But that's the uh, the main problem. Okay, another problem. I'm not saying keep saying main problem because they're all kind of main problems. Another problem would have to be the fact that you have to buy a new. If you didn't have an Elgato already, you have to buy a new recording de uh, recording device, which is 120 pound, 180 dollars. Maybe I'm not quite 100 percent sure on what it would be in the US or Canada or wherever. Um, but and also you have to buy if you use Turtle Beach, a lot of games you use Turtle Beach turtle beaches and that's kind of everyone use it to hear around corners because this on ghost you can sound hot you can tell when they're coming off a mile they're that big foot they start slombing along and start slamming their feet but uh yeah and you have to buy a new turtle beach which is going to be okay if you want to buy it the standard one i think this the cheapest ones for was one at the moment are 80 pounds which is 140 dollars maybe around that and the most expensive ones are around 190 i'm but don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure if you can buy different um, headsets. I think maybe Triton or Astros may support. I'm, I've never had them. I've always had Turtle Beaches. So I don't know. But I, I, actually, I'll tell you what. Leave a comment. Someone find out If someone can find out for me, leave a comment below if you can. And if you can find a controller that does work, please link it below in the, in the uh, comments. That would be a massive help. Be an absolute massive help for me. Um... Yeah, you can see this commentary is coming to an. I know it was a bit kind of this commentary was a bit of shambles, but it's kind of a console that I've spent a load of lot of money on, and no one really plays it, and that's just and for everyone else. So, so I want what I want to do is this commentary was kind of about finding out what everyone else is doing. So everyone, leave a comment below, tell me if you like the Xbox One and why you like it, and then oppose it to the 360. Tell me if you like the 360 more. Why you like the 360 more? Is did I make any sense? Probably not. It's probably going to be a massive fail, but I'm going to, but I'm going to upload this anyway because I want to know what you guys think. So please leave a like, comment, and uh, just you know, let me know what you think. So follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, all that beautiful stuff. Subscribe if you're new, and I love you all guys. Peace out.